UStreamRadio.com uh, I guess yeah. I'm with the DJ and all that DJ like. Diamond K Alright okay. man Now who you expecting to make it hot Soon as the needle drop on the ones and twos Get the crowd to move a lot of jocks wanna mock, monkey see, monkey do. Right. Digging in they crates, but they ain't got a clue. D I A M O N D K. When you're a patient of Dr. Levy and you feel that he touched you in an unjust way, <laughs> call cats. Your Shuli Davi K, the lovely Miss Sweet Tea. Um. And I don't know if this is like national news, but it probably is. It is. But um, a, a oh. doctor at the the greatest hospital in the world. <laughs> Johns Hopkins. Yes. How about that? Mm-hmm. The greatest hospital mm-hmm. in the world. Yes, worldwide. Do- yeah. Doctor, what's his name? Nikita Levy. Okay. Put his government out there. <laughs> oh. I mean, he did now. All right. I mean, he <laughs> uh, uh, He was, was he touching these women? He was taking inappropriate photographs of his patients. Okay. Doing examinations. Now, he was a, what type of doctor was he? I'm not sure. I want to say he worked at the um, East Baltimore um, office. So, I want to say he probably was a family practice doctor. I want to say because all the, or he might have been a gynecologist. Yeah, okay. So. Because all his patients were women. So, he was a pussy doctor. Yeah, he was a puss-puss doctor. Okay. Be clear. Now, so he was he was he was taking pictures of these ladies inappropriately, right? Meaning that they didn't know, <laughs> right? He had spy cams. Taking... Nice. Like uh, so. <laughs> okay. Now he, he had them in in in, in pens. Yeah, he, they said he had one like a pen. Nice. He probably had some in the examination rooms. So when they were getting undressed, he saw nice. like that. Are you saying nice? <laughs> no, and no, it's not nice. The little pen, like if he had to do like the vaginal examinations, that means he was recording it with the pen on his jacket. Those aren't cheap, by the way. He was making good money anyway. So, uh, so, so now there's been a rash of lawsuits right, filed right. against John Hopkins. <laughs> right. The best hospital in, in the, the world. world. Right. Uh, these women just want money. Exactly. Exactly. And, and it, it's. Okay, I understand that he broke the medical code as a doctor. You broke the medical code. But it is not John Hopkins' fault that they had hired a freak doctor. He was a closet freak. They didn't know that. It's not like he went to the interview when he got the job and was like, Oh, yeah, I also like to take pictures of people's vaginas, too. It gets me off. Like, how do they know? They're going to sue his because, you know, all doctors have a malpractice. Thing. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna take money out of that, but it's like, come on now, like, why are you gonna shoot John Hopkins? Have, have you seen the picture of him? Yes. He's yes. Just... <laughs> wow. Okay. He um, wasn't that bad looking. Well, uh, ironically. I want to know if he was sleeping with some of these patients. I think so. he probably was. You know, uh, one or two, maybe three. He's like, how many fingers do I have in? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just want to know, he must be really slick because I work in the medical field and when I was a medical assistant and I assist all my doctors when they did pap smears, breast examinations, like, was his medical assistant not on her P's and Q's because I understand when the lady have their feet up in the stirrups, the sheet or whatever, I was always the person... All- I was behind the doctor because I want to know what's going on too. You know what I'm saying? So nosy. maybe yeah, I was nosy. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was nosy. You know, I want to know why you got this coming out your vagina when it's not normal and why you maybe didn't get it on. one of those people <laughs> ratted them out. Somebody some ratted them out. But what are those wires? What are those wires? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> doctor Levy's in here fucking around. <laughs> Like he was slick with it. Yeah. He was slick. But you know, a lot of women that he saw, you know, that was an urban area. So mm-hmm. they probably feel like, why he gonna come down here? And, you know, a lot of people have medical assistance. He stuff likes like big butts of the kid. No, uh, whoosh. Well, no, no, no. And his wife probably didn't have a big. You think he had a wife? He was married. He left her a note. Okay. Yo, you know he was a sick freak. 
You see the way he killed himself? Yeah, he put thing. helium in there and yeah, he so. suffocated himself. He was a freak and he probably jacked off before he did. That. He probably went out with the big Why couldn't he just like shoot himself or like no, jump off the bridge or something? I That's bet some you he dude. strangled himself, put the helium on, jacked off because that was the best. Or he went out with the biggest orgasm ever in life and died because he was a freak. Oh, wow. And I know how freaks think. Why do you know? Because I just know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he went out. He did strangulation by ejaculation. <laughs> They're not giving us all the details. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody, we don't want all that. You can keep, keep all they that. They said they got so much stuff. I'm sure. Footage. I'm, I'm sure they do. Um, you know, so. You know when your doctor is touching your titty ladies and appropriately doing a breast examination now. Yeah, I mean, so the women that this happened to, that didn't know, and no one knows, what, do they really have a law, a case? They, they, these doctors in Baltimore, they ain't no joke. They really think that these people have a case. Well, uh, I definitely uh, do not condone what he did. I um, don't either. I just don't like the fact that uh, a Everybody lot of women are just trying to think this is a come up. They like, dang, they probably sitting there like, did I ever see Dr. Lee? <laughs> Tell you like, leave, leave, leave me. You're like, no, no, that was Lewis. Lewis. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. No cases. Damn, right. Lewis. Ustreamradio.com